Good morning, Year 3. Welcome to our English lesson. You're almost close to the end of the term. And thank you once again for being able to sustain this very, very long period of time with online learning. We will be eternally grateful to you. So let's begin our lesson by making sure that you are prepared. Ready to go. So pencil and paper. Use the pause button if you need to. The ally today is to recap storyboards and play scripts. So let's begin our quiz. What's the definition of a script? Is it number one, a play? Number two, the written text of a movie, play or broadcast? Number three, the art or craft of writing a script? Number four, stage directions. Number two, stage directions are an instruction in the text or play. That's number one. Two, the words that characters say. Or three, art or craft of writing script. Where are the names of the characters written in the script? Number one in the right hand margin. Number two in the center. Number three in the left hand margin. Or number four, all of the above. Who is a script written for? Is it number one, the characters in the play? Two, the actors within the play. Three, the audience. Four, the playwright. Information that tells characters how to move or act. Is it number one, character direction? Or number two, dialogue? And that's not spelled correctly. Let's mark the play scripts. Right, the definition is definitely number two the written text of a movie play or broadcast number two stage directions are did you get this one an instruction in the text of a play so that's number one characters are written on or in the left hand margin number three here's a script written for it's number two the actors within the play and information that tells characters how to move or act, it's number one, character direction. How did you do on your play script? Are you happy with your result? So now look at paragraphs. Remember, we group similar ideas together in a paragraph. So read the topic sentence. Well, I'm going to read it. Which sentence could, would not be long in the same paragraph with the others? The afternoon stretched out lazily. So which sentence won't belong with that sentence? The air felt heavy, causing the children's eyelids to droop. Without warning, smash! The window behind them shattered. Bees buzzed around the rose bushes. And number four, the warm sunny meadow invited them to a game of tag but they had no energy to respond. Right, we're going to mark each one after we've done it. So I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to give you the answer. One, two, three. The answer is number two. Without warning, smash the window behind them shattered. This has nothing to do with the afternoon stretched out lazily. All the others refer to something to do with the outdoors <clears throat> and the afternoon. <coughs> Number two. Which sentence would not belong in the same paragraph with the others? Deciduous trees grow in temperate climates. Just so you know, deciduous trees lose their leaves in the winter. So deciduous trees grow in temperate climates. Examples of deciduous trees include oak, ash, beech and maple. That's number one. Number two, in northern climates, bears spend the winter in hibernation. Number three, in autumn, leaves lose their green chlorophyll and become bright shades of red, orange or yellow. And number four, unlike evergreens, deciduous trees lose their leaves in the autumn. So which one? It definitely doesn't go with deciduous trees growing temperate climates. 
I'll count to three and we'll mark it. One, two, three. It's number two. In northern climates, bears spend the winter in hibernation. This has got nothing to do with deciduous trees. So it's number two. Moving on. School dinners should be healthier. So which sentence would not belong in the same paragraph with the others? School dinners should be healthier. Is it number one? When surveyed, 85% of people said they would like their school to start a breakfast club. Number two, a balanced, nutritious, filling dinner will give children more energy. Number three, if healthier meals are presented attractively, pupils will be encouraged to try them. Or number four, healthier dinners will make pupils more alert. So I'm going to give you a few seconds to choose. Is it one, two, three or four? So remember, school dinners should be healthier. Have you spotted which one it is? I would say it's number one because it's to do with when surveyed, 85% of pupils said they would like their school to start a breakfast club. So that's about starting something like a breakfast. It's got nothing to do with school dinners. It should be healthier. And the last one. Which sentence would not belong in the same paragraph with the others? Bats are amazing. Number one, bats are nocturnal, which means they are active at night and sleep during the day. Number three, they are the only mammals that can fly. Or number three, bats navigate by using their ears to pick up echoes rather than by using their eyes as humans do. Oh dear, I think there's a problem with this one. Have you spotted it? Right, so there isn't one that doesn't belong. All of these would be suitable to put in the same paragraph as bats are amazing. Did you spot that? So how are you doing? You can have that number four as one of your bonus points because their number four, which should be the one that was the odd one out, didn't appear in there for some reason. Okay, we're going to open this. So these are the words that you use at the beginning of a sentence. Choose the sentence opener, which could be added to the beginning of the sentence. So something, the ship reached land. Is it number one, pretty? Number two, however? Or number three, although, or number four, eventually. We'll do two and then we'll mark two. So find the missing word. We need the opener. Something they built up enough courage to look behind a rusty old car. Is it number one, since? Number two, if? Number three, after a while? Or number four, suddenly. So these are like fronted adverbials or adjectives at the beginning. So let's go back to number one. The something ship reached land. It's number four. Eventually the ship reached land. And then number two. Number three is the opener that you should have selected. After a while, that would be a fronted adverbial, they built up enough courage to look behind the rusty old car. Let's continue with the openers. Something his cousin Charlie, Jack, didn't know anyone in his new school. We'll do these three and then we'll mark these three. Something she slammed the book down on her desk. Is it number one suddenly? Number two even though, number three, softly, or number four, because. And the last one. So select the opener. Something, I had three apples, I could bake a tart. 
I had three apples, I could bake a tart. Is it number one, when? Number two, if? Number three, finally? Or number four, however? Let's go back to number three. So, which word could you put at the beginning? It will be number four. Besides his cousin Charlie, Jack didn't know anyone in a school. And she slammed the book down on her desk. We could use and should use suddenly. Number one, suddenly, suddenly. She slammed the book down on her desk. And the last one is number two, if. If I had three apples, I could bake a tart. How are you doing on this quiz? I hope you're happy with your results so far. Right, similes, you know about similes. Which two words do you need to be familiar with for some similes? So you know that they're comparing two things. So number one, it was as dark as in the cave. Number one, oak. Number two, black. Number three, night. Or number four, a house. Something was wrong with the television. It was buzzing like A. Is it number one, cricket? Number two, B. Number three, wire. Or number four, garden. The edge of a piece of paper can be as sharp as a... Is it number one, butter knife? Number two, guitar string? Number three, comb? Or number four, razor? Your hands are as cold as... Is it number one, glass? Number two, wool? Number three, ice? Number four, wood? It's not heavy, it's as light as a... Is it number one seashell, number two feather, number three hawk, or number four candle? Now, I would spe expect everyone to get all five of these correct, because we've spent quite a bit of time on some of these, not just on online learning, but also in the autumn and the spring term, for the first half of the spring term. So, let's go to number one. It was as dark as night. It's number three. It was as dark as night in the cave. Dark as black in the cave would just not make sense. Number two. It was buzzing like a bee. Number two, B. The edge of a piece of paper can be as sharp as a number four razor. Razor, I'm sure most people have had a paper cut before and it's quite surprising how much it hurts when it cuts into your finger. Your hands are as cold as, it's number three, cold as ice. And it's not heavy, it's as light as a feather. Number two, feather. Now, I hope everyone got five out of five. How are you doing so far? all the quiz problems that you've been given. Right, so here's the storyboard quiz. See how much you remember about storyboards? Before you start to create a storyboard, what is the first thing you should know? Number one, your story. Number two, the colors. Number three, the finished product. Or number four, the fun you will have. We'll do two and then we'll mark. After you have figured out your storyline, what should be the next thing to focus on? A. The storyline. 2. Character development. 3. What you want for lunch. Or 4. Draw your characters several times. So let's mark number 1. It's number 1. Your story. Before you start to create a storyboard, what is the first thing you should know? You should know your story. And number 2. After you've figured out your storyline, what should be the next thing to focus on? It's number two, character development. Once you have your story and your character development done, what should you focus on next? Number one, how you will render the story. 
Number two, what colour your characters will be. Or number three, your storyboard scenes, slides. And number four, what type of transitions you want between scenes. Let's mark that one now. It should be number three, your storyboard scenes or slides. In planning your scenes, what should you do first? Number one, look at storyline and mark scenes. Number two, draw whatever you feel like. Number three, take a break and get a soda. Or number three, four, colour characters. And last of all, who is the script written for? Is it number one, the characters in the play, the actors within the play, the audience, or the playwright? I don't think that one should be there, to be honest. Right, let's go back to number three. In planning your scenes, what should you do first? You need to do number one, look at storyline and mark the scenes. And the last one, who is a script written for? It's the actors within the play. Number two, how have you done on the quiz? Are you satisfied with what you've been able to produce? Okay, here's your recap on the play script. Here's a simple, a short part of a script that's still taken from a book because you can see it's got the speech marks. The first task you have to do with this so that you can change it into a play script is highlight any speech in blue. So first colour in all of the speech in the text. So if the person or actor is speaking, colour it blue. Next, in that orangey brown colour, any stage directions that tell the actors how the speech is said, colour it in that orangey brown colour. And finally, anything else that isn't to do with speech or how speech is said, so anything that's not blue or orangey brown, you do in green. So let's look at the right hand side. Now write the correct parts of the storyline into the play script. Don't forget, you don't need to include speech marks. And secondly, your stage direction should be in the present tense. Right, here's a clue. Do you remember stage directions go in? Yes. And whatever the actors say is taken from the speech marks. So see how you get on with this. Remember, you've got to identify what the actors say and then you've got to identify the stage directions which go in brackets and then anything else will be in green so they will go at the top. Good luck with the task. I'm sure you'll cope with this task magnificently. So before I go I should really say thank you for watching and listening when you complete, email your work to yr3 at grange.harrow.sch.uk. Thank you very much, everyone. Take care. Be safe. Tomorrow's our final day. Thank you for managing to maintain this long period of online learning.